Hey, what's up guys? This is Rob, AKA Anomaly. I uh, just want to do a quick showcase video for you guys to go over some quick details and let you guys know what you're looking at. Uh, right here to the left, you're looking at uh, Distress Labs, AKA Paul Manzi's new um, limited uh, dream sequence dio. Um, it's a one of two. This is the prototype. He's doing one more, and I think that may be all for this dial right here because of the amount of, um, you know, work and stuff that's in, that's involved with this particular dial. He doesn't want to do too many. And then on the right-hand side, we have Paul Manzi's uh, newest revision of uh, the Boiler Room Freddy dial. <clears throat> this is uh, the V2 prototype, as you guys uh, can see, and I'll go over what the uh, revisions are and the differences are between the first one as they are quite uh, significant in my opinion from both uh, a visual aspect and just from a practicality aspect so we'll get into that but before I start showing off some of the details again full reviews of these dials will happen once I uh, get my dream sequence that I had commissioned uh, complete I'm still waiting on ahead and then I have to do uh, a Freddy 3 review from Beto Metalli that I've never done yet. I have four Freddy's guys, so um, when I do that review, that uh, this dial will be part of that review, and then I'll uh, go into more of the details. But, but basically, guys, um, I've commissioned these dials a long, long time ago, and that's kind of one of the things I just quickly want to talk about is just, uh, you know, people always ask, you know, damn, Rob, how do you get all this stuff? You know, you, know, you get all this nice stuff, and you get it. You know, it's just, uh, your stuff is different. You know, your stuff is just real, real nice. And, you know, whatever, whatever. And I tell people all the time that, you know, it's very important in this hobby, you know, if you want those extra details, and if you want to, you know, have those nice things, especially I tell this to the newer collectors, you have to learn the concept of patience. And, um, and you, you gotta just let the artists do their thing. I was told, um, quite some time ago with the, the Freddy dial that I would have it and things just came up but I never um, you know I never uh, haggled Paul and I just said you know what you do it when you can do it and you know one day he was like okay I'm ready to do it and uh, I ended up getting his newest revision of it because you know with the artist you know think about it if you were an artist and you had a thousand people haggling you you know versus somebody that's just super patient you're probably would be more opted to do just a little bit more than you would for the other guys that are, you know, not as patient. So you get, everyone's gonna get good work at the end of the day, but that doesn't necessarily mean that you're always gonna get those extra details and that, uh, what we call that extra, extra love. But anyway, so I waited over a year for this Freddy 3 dial and for the dream sequence dial, it's been about a year as well. Um, I remember Paul showing me uh, some of the aspects of the dial I think over a year ago and again he just wanted to do it and he and he did it and it came out phenomenal like I said I'm gonna show you guys some quick quick details but before I even again get into that I want to talk too much I want to talk about some upcoming projects that are coming down the pipeline the uh, Gasly uh, I think I'm saying the Grassley uh, Grinner um, is gonna be coming up soon uh, the Ripper I, I think that Paul posted on uh, just a couple of days ago, we still got the Jason uh, uh, Manhattan figures that are wrapping up sometime in June, probably July, the latest. We have uh, part sevens uh, that are gonna be uh, in the works soon. We got a few rounds of the Burt and Jason, I'm getting the prototype. Jason Goes to Hell, which I'm also getting the prototype. And the um, Warlock, which I'm getting the prototype as well. So. Um, these are coming, so stay tuned for those. And again, guys, uh, let's get into some figures. Well, not figures, let's get into some dials and show you guys some quick details. Alrighty, guys, so here is the uh, dream sequence dial. Let's start off with the uh, COA. It says dream sequence, diorama, distress labs, uh, cow crash dial, one of two prototype, distress labs. Again, I commissioned this a long time ago, and uh, again, I'm not gonna go too crazy on the review, but as you guys can see, the details here are phenomenal. 
Um, this is a represent the scene after the cow crashed into the car and he ripped the guy's head off and he was walking down the road. You know, hand laid grass, all types of colors, sculpted cow parts. We got the sign, slow down, cattle crossing. Then we got the strip of poster on the ground. We got the, the gate that has dual side. One side is like a chrome finish, other side is a black. Uh, weathered poles, like prior to ever, all that shit. So again, guys, I'm not gonna go into too much crazy detail, but I think you guys get the picture. Um, full review of this will occur once I get my dream sequence uh, figure fully complete. And here we have, uh, Stress Labs version two uh, dial. Here's the uh, COA boiler room. Beautiful scene. I love Paul COA's Stress Labs. Again, uh, differences with this primarily. Well, first of all, this application is a lot more weathered, a lot more grime, uh, a lot more revised. Um, the way it was built, everything is, um, there's no nails in this application. Prior, you used to have nails holding down those black pieces that you see uh, in the rails. Uh, you know, were attached with nails. Now everything is magnetized. If you guys can see the magnets right here, those are magnets and I'm not gonna lift it up right here, but underneath these railings are magnets and everything is just magnetized now. Let's go around and um, as you guys can see, all magnets. So it's just a much cleaner application and uh, a much more revised and and um, professional, clean, yeah, I'm like blocking shit over guys, appearance. So again, here's the tits. Let's take a quick look at the weathering. Again, very, very grimy. Everything blends together nicely, just all the, all the details. So again, it's just the way that it's built and it's just a little more cleaner. Everything is magnetized. Those are the main differences, so. So that's basically it guys, just a quick, quick video, just highlighting what we got here. Uh, stay tuned for some updates, I got some more videos on the way, got some prototypes coming and uh, we can get into that. Alright, a good look. Alright, I'll holler at you guys, peace.